Um, Ed and Carolyn Rose were here this morning, but they're here almost every single day. They're a couple that um, used to be very active in their church, and the priest started announcing one day, somebody needs a bed, and then they, they raise their hand and say, we'll help them. Somebody needs clothing, they want another mass, and they raise their hand and, and uh, help the family. Little by little, the priest started getting them in charge of helping the community, uh, and then they got other people involved. So pretty soon, their garage got converted into distribution of food, clothing, and furniture. And then they got other friends because they're middle class people. They had to work, they had kids, so some days they will serve in the community through their house, other days they will rotate and another family will open their garage. That's how everything started, a little bit before 1971. So they got a warehouse. Yeah. They divided the warehouse and, and converted it into uh, food, clothing, furniture distribution, and they started teaching ESL classes. Dr. Goldknight away the most was the way you guys handled that little kid. I mean, you, you made a dental convert today. Um, I could see him so. as a future dentist. <laughs> There is a candle in every soul Some brightly burning and some dark and cold And there is a spirit who brings a fire Ignites a candle and makes his own Carry your candle Run to the darkness Seek out the helpless Confused and torn And hold out your candle For all to see it Take your candle And go light your world Take your candle Frustrated brother See how he's tried to Light his own candle Some other way See now your sister She's been robbed and lied to Still holds a candle Without a flame So carry your candle Go like 
like your word. Take your candle and go like your word. And one of the patients who was here uh, grew to like dental assisting with the dental assisting school now is a dental hygienist. So actually uh, was able to buy a house because she was given a hand up here. So. It's a cool organization to, to work with, and to think that all of this is, there's no government funding here at all. There's none of these, and all these people are, have been pre-screened, they've gone to their house and looked at their living conditions, and uh, the, their families who, their kids, they say, well, what do you need? And they're like, we need tutoring for our kids, we need job, job training, we need clothes, we need a bed, and men will make it happen. And their kids come here and get tutored after school, their parents take English as a second language classes, they get the medical care. I mean, they give free glasses to patients. Glasses and medication, and chiropractic care, psychological counseling, dental care, and it's all for a $3 donation. And if they can't pay, it's all right. So. Sweet Adeline, my Adeline, at night, dear heart, for you I pine. In all my dreams, your fair face beams. You're the flower of my heart. Sweet Adeline, you're the flower of my heart. Sweet Adeline.